Three letters that changed how the world sees danger. L.M. Day. Weapons of mass destruction. But what exactly makes a chemical weapon fit that category? It's not about the size of the weapon, but the scale of what it can do. Chemical weapons use man-made toxins, gases, or liquids that can harm or kill large numbers of people in moments. They spread through air, water, or contact. And once released, you can't control where they go. That's what makes them so terrifying. They turn the very air we breathe into a weapon. The first major use came during World War I, when poisonous gas filled trenches and battlefields. It was so devastating that nations later agreed these weapons cross a moral line. Today, the world bans their use under international law because one attack could cause mass panic, destruction, and long-lasting fear. That's why they're called weapons of mass destruction, not because of the explosion they cause, but because of the scale of suffering they bring. So here's the question. In a world advancing faster than ever, can we truly ensure that such weapons never return? If this breakdown fascinated you, hit subscribe for more Hidden History Explained Simply. And let me know in the comments, which type of WMD do you think the world fears most?